channel today we'll talk about csv import in jira how we can do the csv import so first of all this is useful for if you are uh, mm, migrating or if you are uh, uh, importing issues from another instance to your instance so it will be useful so there are two type of csv import are available one is for the user one one is for the admin one so what's the difference between user and admin i will tell you so first of all how you can create for the user if you click on issues and import issues from csv okay this is external csv import this is the for the user one and if you are admin then let's go to system and here control f import external system import just click on that this csv import this is for the admin one so what's the basic difference between them the basic difference is uh, like if you, you are doing the admin uh, import then just take example if priorities uh, some priorities are not available in your instance okay then it will add the priority some options uh, field options are not available in the uh, your instance it will add those option okay unnecessary so always try to do this import only the user one okay we'll try so i have downloaded one of the csv let's in the go to download jira csv one click on open okay what is the use of this one configuration i will tell you later go to next where uh, i will create one of the project copy of jira test so i'm selecting the this one this is very 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 important if this date format is not matching with your uh, csv format it will create the problem so always match date format okay click on next see here it will provide the options so these are the fields which are available in my uh, csv file okay come here select jira csv open okay it will ask uh, encoder and the uh, file encoding csv delimiter okay see email user it will create the user also okay here you are not you are getting the option define in csv but uh, here you were not getting that option okay so this is the difference click on next just go down working with multiple custom fields as you exist custom field must be global all projects subtask and here nothing like this you, uh, you are getting so let me map assignee created see created it is not seen but here just come assignee date created is there here date created is not there why it's not showing because i will tell from where it's getting uh, taking these values it's taking from the default issue type which are available so you have to understand i will show you come here go to your project copy of jira test open it in issue type scheme okay so this is your issue type scheme okay under this issue type scheme jira test project copy go up issues issue type scheme control f click on edit see the request is a default one right so this means whatever values whatever fields you are able to see here it's taking from your default issue type screen okay so doesn't matter if your issue type is a different one okay if your issue type is a different it's not going to work see i am not providing any issue type over here right so it will create all issues as a request issue type i will show you also here what is the um, use of map field value 
so map field is value like uh, it will show in your uh, 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 let, let it let it believe instance one leave it I don't want description don't map a reporter or resolution is required status status summary so here i am able to see all the fields because i am using the admin button but if your user is telling like i am not able to see all the field see here limited field only user can see because which are the fields are available in your issue screen if it's not available you will not able to see updated date modified so date modified is a updated one you will not find the updated one okay click on next here it will ask for the Bing import and the back option okay let me click on back if you select the map field value what will happen just come down click on next it will show see it's showing from the import me from your CSP and this is the target one how the status is going to map how this uh, importer is going to map okay here you are not getting the validator option right so here created is not there so i cannot add it leave it description is there reporter is there resolution see resolution is also not there because we never add resolution in the create a screen don't map status is also not there so we cannot use the status also summary date modified c so this is the basic difference between these two let me click on next here you will get one option this is a validate option but here in this external system import means the from the admin you will not get the validate option so uh, i cannot validate key it's going to work or not what will happen just click on validate from but for the normal user it will check see uh, 107 issues will be created one and three issues will not be created because description is required and for some of the issues description is not there so what is the save the configuration means i have done this um, migration uh, sorry this um, uh, mapping right assign is going to use the assigning and all those things so that that means uh, uh, like if uh, i have 10 number of csv files are there okay in those 10 number of csv files every time i am not going to map so i can save this configuration and next time i can reuse it so let me save it okay let me try from the beginning now click on import csv so this is the file csv file and i am going to use existing configuration file so this is my configuration file click on open click on next okay it will take automatically everything see so it will be very useful for you to uh, do this kind of mapping okay so uh, if you are doing uh, like 10 uh, csv import end of at a time so that time it will be very very useful okay another problem you will face so first of all you can see field values are not available fields are not available because it's not there in the create screen issue time i am not adding so what what issue it will create issue type let me click on next and show the begin import only see it will show how many issues uh, it's going to import so whatever the details you can see over here the progress you can see it another problem you will face uh, let me show you see this is the download file download log file so you can check how the things all the default issue type it's creating so all issues will create the request only but in my csv all issues were not a uh, which one it was not a request it was some sub task also every uh, details are the different type of issue types was there but currently it's created all the issues are the request only see all the issues are request 
so this kind of mistake if you are doing then uh, again what i have to do i have to delete it if i am going to delete all these issues i am going to lose my number this issue key number from where it will start it will start from the 108 now okay so this kind of problem you will face in the csp import see yet i am not getting the validating option also so i don't know how many issues are were there in my uh, csp how many issues are going to create those kind of things i cannot see it okay let me open this my csp file and you should be having the permission to create bulk issue if you don't have permission for creating the bulk issue it will give error only okay So you must have all the permission like uh, uh, if there are uh, 1000 issues are there in the one CSP but uh, you can create only 250 issues at a time so that time also you will get the error. Okay so this is my the CSP file I can see all the details over here let me zoom out. 25 percent only okay just leave it now i will show you how to re-import again uh let's delete it i don't want one i don't want this one i don't want this two this two now let's go to issues and try to do project equal to uh, Jira KT. Okay, these are the issues are available. Or let's Jira test. Jira test. Okay, issue type. Issue type. If you will select the issue type, then only issue type will be available in your CSP. And like this, you can do the CSP import. So, what the things you need to remember? first thing you should be having the bulk issue create uh, permission second how many issues are there in the csp file you need to check like uh, if thousand issues are there but your uh, you cannot create more than 250 issues in your instance so those kinds of problem you will can you can face it second it will check all the fields from the default issue type okay so default issue is a request then uh, just whatever fields are there in the request it will take only those fields doesn't matter if you are creating epics or all it will not take from the normal csp file so like this you can do the csp import thank you for watching